Okie dokie. I think it worked. Hey, mister. I'm getting like lag city now, though. Go on, you can do it. Poke catch. Camera is lagging like crazy. What is happening? Did some game settings get tweaked? What is the problem? Wouldn't be a stream without ridiculous... ...issues right at the offset. <clears throat> Okay, that's fine. Give me my windows back. There we go. Let's see if going full screen is better. Yeah, apply them. Whatever. All right, where am I? <clears throat> huh. It's okay. So I am hunting for egrets and orchids is what I'm doing at the moment. It's uh, super glamorous. <clears throat> Let me get my... Join please. My browser back up. So, how are you guys doing tonight? Did you see family today, Hacksaw? Or what's your Christmas day look like? RDR2 Egret. is like hey you're you're live now I know I know I am we'll see how hosed the ad manager and my timer and stuff got from all of that <clears throat> all right egrets where are you? I'm going to kill you. Crane? I'll take a couple cranes. I need like all these exotic bird feathers. 
for these collection quests, but at first step of it, I need egret plumes and lady of the night orchids. And the stupid thing is a little bit glitched. So it doesn't keep account for me right here, so I have to like actually look. Once I have all of one type, it'll I'm sure it'll show up, but I have like two of the orchids. Lady of the Night Orchid. I have three and I need fifteen. And then I have two three and two of the respective egret plumes. I need five each. So I just need to find some egrets. And they're kind of rare, apparently. Got a few places that I know to look for them. And so we'll be going on a tour of Lemoyne shooting birdies. Till I get the egrets. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing the orchid hunting on stream, because that's fairly boring. But it's kind of what I where I am right now for my 100% journey <clears throat> is working on this. So here we are. That's what I would be doing if I weren't streaming. Yeah. <clears throat> so gonna go check just gonna set some markers here 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 here. Here. And... Here. <clears throat> and... Here. First I'm going to check these islands. Right where I am. Fog is really useful. Super, super good. Bird. I don't know what it was, but it's a bird I haven't shot before. Tropic Cormorant. Alright. We'll take that action. I'll get eaten by an alligator while I do this at least once. For sure. Snake. A snake, a snake. <clears throat> Water snakes scare me in real life um so let me see when i had it targeted it said study and it said wouldn't say the name of the bird it just said bird so that's how i knew So there's one, um, there's one achievement that I'm not going to do. It's not part of the in-game 100%, but it's part of the trophies and achievements that, um, is to study, track, kill, and skin one of every animal in the game. And that includes, like, the exclusive animals. Oh, there's... Looks like a bird over there. Heron.
Um, <laughs> most birds in life are birds. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, so it's like that's it's not one hundred percent the game, but it's one of the achievements. Um, so I'm only going for the in-game 100%, which is just this progress here, total completion. So, and while it does include, um, discovering a certain amount of animals, I've already completed, discover, wow. discover 50 animals. And there are like 180 or something like that. Um, it does include a bunch of collection stuff. And it also, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> it does also include the, um, so like I have to do all the collection stuff. I'm working on the exotics right now. There's still an unknown collectible. I'm not even sure what that is, but. So it, that's the te most tedious part of the in-game 100% is all this collectible stuff. Just wading through the swamp. What could go wrong? Big ol' snapping turtle. Don't mind me, alligators. I'm just looking for birds to shoot. I see a couple over there. Egret. Might have to blast my way through some alligators to do this, but it's okay. Alright, reddish egret, perfect. What's up, Kudu? Thanks for stopping by. I, uh, I didn't realize Blue was streaming. That's awesome. That's awesome! <laughs> Where'd the other ones go? Right over here. Gonna get eaten by an alligator. Buttspot has tried to use the butt command six times. That's not a real command, you dingus. Check my counts. I've got like a you were in danger kind of camera shake. Nope, there we go. Are there bounty hunters? What's over there? Oh, my horse pissed off an alligator. <laughs> okay, let's check. Check the plumes. The economy is in shambles. The economy is indeed in shambles. Little egret plume, I'm up to four. I need two more snowy, one more reddish, one more little. Uh oh. Coming in hot. <clears throat> Fucking alligator. I like how he kicks it before he st starts carving. That flat fuck. 
I've been seeing this um this trend on like Instagram um where people are like cleaning snow off their car and they're like we have no we have no earthquakes, we have no hurricanes, we have no alligators. We have no earthquakes, we have no hurricanes, we have no alligators. Which is a good mantra when you're cleaning snow off a car. Oh, there's like some dead guys over by that tree stump. <coughs> okay, catch. Honestly, I was in California for 10 years and I felt a half dozen earthquakes. And honestly, I was way more afraid of tornadoes in the Midwest than I ever was of ca earthquakes in California. Hurricanes are pretty terrifying, too. I just saw a muskrat huffing it. Oh, it's a badger. I felt plenty of things in California. Mostly, uh, poverty. Having a six digit income and being below the poverty line. What about stripper? Okay, what about stripper titties? I, uh. Oh. Nah. That has certainly never been a problem. I've been to a few, but. Nah. Yep. I like. The naked body just as much as anyone else, but I don't like it to be a crowd experience. Crippling addiction. Yeah. <laughs> Crippling in the pants. There we go. Money grits. Yeah. I don't remember what it's from. That quote is like from some show or whatever, but... But I, uh, I find it to be true personally as well. Oh, the heron is under the dock. <clears throat> nah, I don't take- I don't take credit for stuff that's not mine. Except for AI art, apparently. People are so pissed off about AI art. I haven't experienced any drama about it myself on my own posts using it, but Come I've on. seen it all over Twitter. People are just like super upset about it. They're like, it's stealing from real artists. And I have to say I disagree. Because I still have paid for art and I use AI art. So... The main thing is people are pissed that it used um I mean I use it as my own all the time but just for like video thumbnails and stuff I'm not trying to like sell yep. the art but I'm definitely using it for profit 100%
but it's like people are mad. The main people reason people are mad is because the data set was trained using art that allegedly the data set has been trained using art where permission wasn't given. But it's like how is that how is that different from someone learning to produce art by reproducing someone else's art, you know? Like it's just some that's something you do in like art school. It's like I don't know. I don't know. I feel like uh it's a pretty gray area. If your art is online and publicly available, I don't have any problem with a data set being trained by it. I think people are think it's like, oh, it's just using my piece and it's selling my piece as someone else's art. But it's like it's using your piece as one in two bazillion data points. Check out this boat in a tree over here. What the fuck? Chicken sandwich, Carl! Grape soda, Carl! He's got a... He's got to want to draw a picture of this. No? Treasure. Aged pirate rum. <clears throat> Junk that I don't need. Thank you very much. Sometimes Arthur what will... What do you like... get when you cross a bee and a sheep? A bar humbug. Fuck you, Flarebot. Doty means poop. It does. <laughs> That's not a good joke. Sometimes Arthur will be like, he'll see something weird and he'll want to draw a picture of it. I'm surprised that he's not doing that with this. Writing with a broken pencil is pointless. Why are you doing this, Flarebot? Did I say joke? It was raining cats I mean, I and that. dogs the other day. I almost stepped in a poodle. Might as well do this bounty. I'm right here, huh? What do you think? I'll do a quick bounty, and then I will go back on the search for egrets. What are you? Ducks. Gotta watch out for, uh, panthers in this area. Excuse me. Sometimes I accidentally shoot. What? Did I excuse myself for a rim shot? I am proud of you, Ard. That will send a clear message. Someone's coming. Oh, boy. So
<laughs> so when Hacksaw played the rim shot thing, did I say excuse me? Maybe I burped or something and it was quieter than you could hear. Because I wasn't excusing the uh, rim shot. All right, alligator skin, you're you're gone. Let's go, girl. That's funny. Well, also excuse me for the rim shot that I didn't trigger myself. I suppose. I do suppose. Yep. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, I gotta get, I gotta get Mariah going. Last day for it. Do, 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 do. She'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Wrong channel. <laughs> oh yeah, desktop mode, please. Desktop mode, please. What a lovely day to die a lot. What a to do to die today at a quarter or two till two. Thing distinctly hard to say, but harder still to do. No idea where I heard that, but it just popped into my brain, so. <laughs> nice one. Um, channel. Playlists. Mariah. Boots. Your presents suck. Shut up. Top two grooming. You too. There we go. And That ought, that ought to do it. Okay, I'll see you later. <clears throat> so I should keep an eye on the air for egrets. Ah, oh, Jesus. Did I just get sh killed? What happened? You became wanted. Okay. So, get ready for an ambush, and don't shoot the random stranger on the road instead of the people ambushing me. <clears throat> or I could just run. Let's try just running for a little bit. Get ahead of him, and then see how it goes. What are you gonna do? Chase me? Shoot me in town? I don't think so. Alright, ad timer's still working okay? That's good. 
I've got my video for how I have that all set up scripted. I just need to film it. <clears throat> okay, catch. Okay, catch. Thanks, Flarebot. Almost ran that guy over. Would have put a quick end to it. Guess that's what right. Don't bother accept. handing the money to me. I'll just take it off your desk, dude. That's it. Yeah, I used to do a lot of that, and the oh, horse just took a huge dump. Um, I used to do a lot of that. I there was a uh, mission where, or not a mission, but like a random thing where you like run into like a clan gathering, and I remember like first time my first playthrough running and um, killing them all and stacking them all up on top of the campfire. All right, back to back, back to hunting egrets. Just need a few. Join, please. So I renamed my horse. It was named Pumpernickel, and it just... I wasn't into it. And my other horses are named, like, Toots and Fart. So it didn't fit. So now... We've got Windbreaker. on Hacksaw. Nope, is me. Uh-oh. What? Help you what? Did you get bit by a snake? Help me! <laughs> what, buddy? That the snake won't believe it! Again? Get the again! <laughs> All right. How many times am I going to have to suck on this guy's thigh? Stop getting bit on the upper thigh, buddy. Hold still. Merry Christmas, pal. Never again. Oh, you so much, mister. Can't believe it. All right, take a quick peek for orchids. Got something on that tree over there. It's a vanilla flower. I think. Yep. There's an orchid on that tree. Next tree, though. <coughs> Uh, 
A lot of running around in the jungle tonight. Spider orchid. No, I need Lady of the Night orchid. have a guide somewhere for finding those particular orchids. I, I feel like the I remember the birds being the hardest part of this. That was just a duck. I am definitely going to get mauled by an alligator at some point during this quest. There's like some bubbling in the water over here. What could go wrong? I just want the just want the egret body. Don't worry about me. Oh, it's just a duck. Not worth it. Fucking duck. done with now. Excuse me. I think it's mostly the snowy variety that I need now. Snowy egret. Perfect. I think I needed one each of little and red egret and then I needed two more snowy feathers. Egret. I think that solves that. I think I just need one more snowy egret and we're good. And then it's just orchids. A buttload of orchids. What's up? Merry Christmas. Reddish little snowy. I need one more snowy egret. How's it going? Hope you're doing swell. Come on, snowy egret. It's up on a bush. Nope, it's just a duck. Just a duck. Alright, let's find the next egret spot. I guess I'll go down and then along. No, go north up to there. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah, we got off light here in the desert with all that winter nonsense, but anyone flying here would have probably had to go through Denver, yeah. which. Shut up, alligator. No one asked. Um, a lot of people would have to go through Denver to get here. Just need one more snowy egret.
alligators galore. Keep an eye out for orchids. Ooh, something yellow. <clears throat> Three leg flight. Yuck. No, thank you. I mean, I guess it's better than not going where you want to go. But still. Yikes. I don't see any birds. And a vanilla flower. I think I need a bunch of these later. Alright, let's get back on horse. You guys, uh, all feeling healthy again? Such as it is? Let's head to up here. Yeah, let's just go east to the river and then just follow it along. Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. Oh, some stuff up there. Let's see what we got. I don't know what you are, Raven. Nah. Snowy Egret, where are you? Farragonous Hawk. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, we all yeah. still have a bit of a cough, but I don't think anybody's really sick anymore. And from what I've heard from other from other people, just in general, post-COVID cough can last quite a while. So, why wow. now? I'm not holding my breath. Excuse me. Wow. That's right, Mariah. Um, let me rest till morning. Start fresh. I just need one more snowy egret. Maybe I should start looking at my guide for um, those orchids and just keep an eye out for an egret while I'm collecting those. Sleep. Morning. A video of where to find them. I don't want a video, but fine. Do one even cut all over? What? Oh, yeah. I just use a number two clip and just... Punch my microphone a little bit. I, um... I used to do this all the time when I was, like, poor and I just didn't want to pay for haircuts. And then, um pandemic came and I was like I'm just gonna go back to buzz cuts cuz fuck it and I just stuck with it after that it's very nice to be able to just do it myself excuse me 
Blimey. All right, where are you at, Egrets? What do we got? Crows. <clears throat> Poke catch. North. Yep. The ambient music in this area is sometimes reminds me of Witcher 3 music. A little bit. Chickens. I have yet to play to check out the remastered um, Witcher 3. Or not remastered, but they did like a next gen update. I haven't checked it out yet. It was already a beautiful game. Orchid. Nope. Vanilla flower. Yep. I my plan was to do a Witcher playthrough, or maybe even just uh, one of the expansions. Um, after Red Dead, but then I bought Monster Hunter, so. It's that. It's that now. And that's also why I'm trying to rush. I'm like, I will get back to Monkey Island after the holidays, but right now, if I have the opportunity to stream, I'm going to stream this. Just because I'm trying to push through. Because I want to play Monster Hunter. Uh-oh. And by uh-oh, I mean... Eat. A dick. Alligator. The only reason you're still here. That and Mariah. Orchid, 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 orchid. It's actually pretty hard to say. Here, orchid, 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 orchid. Okay, straight towards that marker. Just need one snowy egret. Turkeys. I don't need no stinking turkeys. Dude in the boat. Wait. They're usually just on the coast. But... Today, mister. <clears throat> Unopened mail at the post office. Okay. Pretty sure I just heard the baby. It's great. Perfect. Get my video monitor up. Excuse me, jeez.
<clears throat> All right. I'm going to run to the bathroom while I'm at it. Be right back screen, please. Well, that never actually came up. Thanks a lot, Flarebot. What's up? I'm back. He's asleep still. He's just... He rolled over and coughed and then ro rolled back over. Oh. Uh. Excuse me. Um... How did I go that quickly? Because the bathroom's like right there, like four feet away. Or like 12 feet away, I guess. Well, I guess I didn't have to go that much then. It wasn't like a, uh, I'm dying to go to the bathroom and I haven't peed in three hours kind of pee. It was just like a, if I'm getting up anyway to check on the baby, I might as well pee. Pee. Oh, this is 100% a trap. Should we move past it or trigger it? What do you say? Kill some night folk. Okay. Yep. Eh, it'll be there later. I remember the first time I, um... I don't know if you found those events yet in your playthroughs. I remember those night folk, some of the night folk things were the creepiest when I didn't when I didn't know to expect them in this area. My first playthrough, the night folk really had my number. Yeah, because I think that one about six of them ambush you. And they're like, they don't come at you with horses and shoot. They like run at you with a machete and stab you in the chest. <laughs> and they're naked. <laughs> or whatever. Bunch of shirtless bayou folk. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit of voodoo element or something, I'm not sure. They're definitely like creepers. I forgot I had that voice controlled. Perfect. Thank you, Flarebot. What lovely weather. Yep. Taking the long way around, I guess. Just going looping back over to a different place where there might be egrets. I remember these exotic collection missions being a real... 
behind her pain. Keeping an eye out for orchids as I go. Yeah, and that's why I, it's pretty fun to, s there's a lot of um, entertainment value in stomping around in the swamp, and it's not straight up just boring. Collection stuff here is more entertaining than collection stuff anywhere else in the game. That's awesome! Spoonbill. I do need spoonbills eventually. Snowy egret, that's what I need. First and foremost. But, I am also going to kill these spoonbills. And, whatever you are. And then I think we're down to orchids. Basically just shot a bunch of flamingos. Alright, dude. Sweet. Yeah, I, um... It's funny, someone made a suggestion on my throne, like a suggested gift of new earbuds. And I was like, I don't need new earbuds, but I should have just been, if someone made the suggestion, maybe they were going to buy them for me. I should have just been like, okay, I accept, I accept that suggestion. But I have whatever, whatever the Apple ones are called, they're fine. They, uh, work less well now than they did a year or so ago, because they're just like slowly getting clogged up with ear stuff, which is gross. Earbuds are just kind of gross. But. Uh, they're wonderful. Okay. I think I'm done with egret stuff. Yep, just orchids now, okay. So let me get my guide going. I don't know if the orchids respawn or not. Excuse me, Mariah. I did not ask you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you gotta let me know if you find um, modifiers and stuff that are really effective for particular things. Um, I've noticed that if you want to separate, um, subject and background and style and stuff, commas or semicolons work fine. Like if you say, like, uh, you know, a reindeer in a snowfield, that's fine. But you could also say, a reindeer with a red nose, comma, snowfield background. And that seems to work better. But I'm still... I'm still only brushing the surface of what 
how best to prompt it. Got perfect alligator skin. Someone's gonna want that. And um, the you can do like let me show you. Do 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 do. do. The, um, there's a settings page. <clears throat> and you can select what the default version you use is. Um, three is really good if you want, um, strange aspect ratios. Yo, bearded rhino, what's up? Hey, Rev Raid. So hi, hi, hi. Thanks for the raid, Rev. Welcome. My, uh, my overlay is grinding to a halt. So that's fun. Let me pause. Hey um, let things catch up. Fan to stick on the other side of my cooler so that I can have... Um, How's it going? A fan blowing and a fan sucking. And I've got the fan blowing right now, but I want the fan sucking. Because there's nothing like a little... I just want you to keep saying sucking. that over and over. Sucking. <laughs> Sorry, I got ads coming. Sucking. Um, I'm going to wait until that is done. And then I will say hi. But thank you for the... Ra <laughs> thank you for the raid. So I am, uh, yeah, my ad manager says there's still 30 seconds left, so I'm just working on, uh, some collection quest stuff on Red Dead right now. How you doing, Snow? How was stream, Rev? And I was showing, um, <clears throat> the Wanderer's Guild here. Uh some of the mid-journey stuff. I don't know if you can hear me yet. If you can, let me know, and I will continue. <clears throat> Metallic Snow is the champion of the hill. Um. So anyway, this settings page has a bunch of stuff here. I don't know what some of these are. Um, Test photo is for like photorealistic mode. Oops. Don't know what Niji mode is. Very curious now. I've never seen that before. Um, you can crank the quality, but it costs twice as much on your quota. But if you're um if you're paying for the unlimited subscription, then it doesn't matter. Style means um is like the variance. You know how when you first do a prompt it gives you four examples? If you do style low, the four examples will be very similar. If you do style very high, the four examples will be disparate. A lot more variance in the style. All right, Hacksaw, have a good one. Sleep well. Um, and so you can set your setting, a lot of your settings here. You can also use like flags for a lot of this stuff too. Um, and also come in here and turn on remix mode because it does something and I don't remember what, but it was good. Oh, it gives you the remix button. So like if I'm on, if I'm on something that was upscaled, like my ugly sweater black mage stuff, it gives you 
the ability to make variations from there. I don't remember. Anyway, we are looking for a very particular type of orchid. I need 15 of them for this collection quest. And hopefully, I will be able to find them. I'm using a video guide to make it fast because otherwise, this would be dreadfully boring. So it's more of just like going to them and collecting them than it is for me really finding them. There's one right there Lady of the Night Orchid. Gameplay mode, please. So, okay, where's the next one, buddy? So I have four out of 15. I'm going to see if this guy can pull up a map and in this video I'm watching. Desktop mode, please. Desk, desktop mode. No? I'm, I've had a beer or two and my enunciation isn't as good as it should be. And that affects voice control. <coughs> video that I'm watching as a guide is like frozen. That's really, really useful. I don't need these markers anymore. They were for egrets and I'm set. Oh, so he just kind of wandered across the river. Best yep. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. See, this way is where he went. There it is. Well, it's something at least. Spider orchid. Right. Excuse me. Can we just become best friends? Yep. Sheesh. Thank you for the follow. I'm looking for a few more orchids. And also other things. Uh, gator eggs I need later. What's up, Redman Reed? Welcome in. Excuse me. Pardon the uh, ambient fart sounds. I'm a uh, seven-year-old at heart. <clears throat> Have a good one. Good night. Sleep well.
So I am doing um, collection quest for exotics. I'm working on 100% playthrough. In-game 100%. I'm not going to do all the achievements because they're insane. But I do have to do all of the collection mumbo jumbo, which is pretty rough. In uh, in this one, but uh, so right now I am looking for Lady of the Night orchids. And they kind of like the orchids spawn kind of randomly here. It's a little weird. I think there's one over here. Yep. So I need ten more. And I'm watching a video guide to speed it along a little bit, so we're not just wandering aimlessly the whole night. <clears throat> but... I may get killed by... a gat alligator here and there. That's fun too. Something on this tree, for sure. Spider orchid again? Yeah. <clears throat> My curiosity is if these orchids respawn, like if I just sleep. Here comes a mega fart. Jeepers. Any on that tree? No. I think we're pretty good for this area. <clears throat> Let's see, the guy in the guide got those gator eggs. Oops, my toot video went to ghosts instead of toots. There we go. Go. All right, and go right about here. I'm at like five out of fifteen, maybe. Something over there. Oh, vanilla flower. I don't know how far you can see them. Yeah. 
there, over there. Poke catch. There's a Pokemon, yo. Stonjourner. Alright. Gonna get attacked by a alligator. Okay, nine to go. Beauty. Eight to go. I know I need gator eggs later, so I'm collecting them while I'm here. I don't know what's up with this shack. Anything of note in here? Wow. Nope. Something's pissed off at my horse, though. I don't even look. <laughs> my horse is panicking because of that alligator right there. Get down. Stop freaking out, it's dead now. The video is like looking through this shack. I'm not sure that there's anything actually going on. I'm just looking for orchids. There's one. Ah. Horse is thoroughly freaked out. <clears throat> me too. Excuse me. All right, seven more. What kind of extemporizing is going on in this video? It's just exploring that shack. It's just someone else's fault playthrough but uh and they cut a video out of the part where they were hunting orchids I went over 
over here. That's just a vanilla flower. <clears throat> That's okay, though. I will take it. I said... I will take it. I'm just waiting for the guy in the video to find another one and we'll go from there. He's pretty much right where I am. So probably just got the one that I picked up. Six more to go. Gator eggs. Chocolate coating makes it go down easier, but you have to wait 15 minutes for full potency, and you shouldn't go in swimming after for at least what? An, an hour. Yeah, an a hour. good hour. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Okay. <laughs> bye, bye, boys. Have, have fun, fun still in the castle. castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye. -bye. I had such trouble narrowing down the clips for that movie to like six clips because like literally every line delivered in the entire movie is clip ready. Whatever, she's a snake horsey. You're fine. period right next to a word must be a hyperlink I can tell because I'm a computer whole that movie sounds like a pirate website
jump. A little jumpy. Nice little jumpy there, Arthur. You just go over there to hold that movie and download that movie. The whole thing. this guy in this video ever gonna pick another orchid? He's just like shooting alligators now. <clears throat> hey, random message from some random person on Rockstar Game Social Club. I'm totally gonna answer that. Basically, just wander around in this part of the swamp and find them. Excuse me. Have a good one, Cujo. <laughs> I don't have to look for Mar for Mariah. She comes to me. There's something over there. Nice. Nope, vanilla flower. Balls. see anything. I got that one. Something over here. Vanilla flower. Gator eggs. I think I'm going to have plenty of vanilla flower if I need them. That's for sure. I don't remember what the other exotic quests are, but I'm 
Gonna be glad to be done with this one. I know I need like heron plumes and spoonbill plumes just in general, so I have been. Nope. Put it back. like four more there's a Pokemon Poke catch Still don't see any. The guy in the video that I'm using as a guide just got in a fight with some night folk. So he's not picking orchids at the moment. I think I need four more. I see some herons or something, I'm gonna kill them. Not you, buddy. I think I'm all set on heron plumes, but... Doesn't hurt. Spoonbill, I think, is what I'm shortest on now. found one. Where was that one, buddy? Alright, right in the back of the bee. Catch up to where that guy is in the video. I need four more. It should not be a problem. Did the Mariah video turn into turkeys? Sure did. Forgot to click loop. There we go. Alright. Wait. Wait. Definitely a little faster to do it on horseback while I'm just searching on my own. Whoa. 
snake. Maybe one I already got. trees okay let's see must have been one i already got he's right by the path so it's like right over here more like There's one. Beauty. Three left, I think. Four left. Don't see any more right here. Let's see. Seems pretty clear. You're okay, horsey. All right, vanilla flower. Hey What's up? Ooh, 
there's one. Something. Nice. Three left, I think. <laughs> but Welcome in, buddy. Hope you're having a good or I guess I can't assume. I use buddy as a gender gender neutral term, by the way. Hope you're having a good one. Merry Christmas, if you celebrate. Christmas. That's right. That's right, Mariah. I am doing some exotics missions. It takes bloody forever. I'm almost done with this one, and then I'm going to move on to something not collection related. I have like a couple more orchids to find. Actually, I went into first person. Let's go, bro. So I just kind of look for some of that shiny white stuff near a tree, like halfway up the trunk, and usually there's a flower on the tree. Sometimes it's the orchid I need, sometimes it's something unrelated. Regardless, it's fine. This region over here. Ooh, looks like there's one over there. Kind of get a better eye for it after you've been hunting for a while. Wow. He says when he failed to spot one. Wow. Like I'm too far out of the swamp for them to spawn here. Maybe not though. Tips for beginners. Work on the satchels um, as soon as you possibly can because it lets you carry a m more of everything. So like, if, especially once you get to the, if you can do all of the satchels, which you can get all of them in chapter two, um, I can carry, you know, 36. You know, you can carry up to 99 of most things once you have all the satchels. That's the biggest tip I would give anybody just starting. Um, otherwise, just have fun. Don't worry about it on a first playthrough. 
do side quests before main quests, etc. Um, the satchels are hunting missions. Um, if you go to Pearson in the camp and you go to crap, go to upgrades, you can look at what's required for each satchel. And they're like, you need a perfect boar skin and a perfect squirrel or something, you know, stuff like that. Right now I'm doing a collection quest that's way further down the line. Almost done with. I need a certain type of orchid. Yeah. I need 15 of them, which is ludicrous. <clears throat> I have three left. Ah, three left. Yep. But I'm doing a run for the in-game 100%, which requires you to do all of the collection missions. I am not going to do all of the achievements because they are just cruel. One of them is study, track, kill, and skin one of each animal in the game. Go. I went way too far down. But yeah, some of the um, some of the achievements or trophies, if you're on PlayStation, are just outrageous. So the orchids grow on backs of trees and you can see them in your whatever this eagle eye site or whatever it's called show up as white sparklies on a tree And, um, yep. Yep. oh, come on. Yep. Hope you go down the stairs. Come on, horsey. Jump up. Did you know that protons have mass? I didn't even know they were Catholic. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's a bad joke. Two fish are in a tank. One turns to the other and says, how do you drive this thing? I loved Witcher 3. It was... Witcher 3 is my number two favorite game ever. Um, it used to be my number one. And... Uh, got unseated by Elden Ring. But, I have yet to go back to Witcher 3 since the, uh... Next Gen... Um, this is probably mm, up there, but not, not, probably top five. This game is wonderful. Idiot. Witcher 3, I wish I could play Witcher 3 for the first time again. That looks like one. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I've beaten Witcher 3 all the way through, maybe four times, including the expansions. The Christmas tree. All in, I've probably spent 1,200 hours playing Witcher 3.
Okay, I need a few more. I think I need two more. So, over here into this thicket. In the Witcher, a lot of what a lot of your choices affect the story like greatly. Um, and it's one of those things where it's like all of the choices are bad. <laughs> like, do you save this one child, and then you doom a whole town, or like it's it's crazy. Oh, in Red Dead, um, there are some side quests that are only available if you have high honor and some that are only available if you have low honor. I don't pay much attention to it, honestly. There's an achievement to get all the way up to the top or all the way to the bottom of that slider. But um, I'm not worrying about achievements on this playthrough. I'm working on an in-game 100%, but not all trophies type of 100%. We here we go. It's my last orchid. Now I can go put, turn in this quest and move on to something else. Beautiful. That dude is here. Duty means poop. It does. I didn't say duty, I said dude. Duty means poop. It does. Yeah. <clears throat> These flowers in, in particular, um, yeah, this Lemoyne area is basically where all the orchids are. Um, and it seems like this Lady of the Night orchid was specifically... Let's see, I started right around here. This whole area is where I found them, so. Pretty distinct area. There are um, YouTube videos and wiki pages for like literally everything in this game at this point. So it's really easy. They do in as much as they're both, they both are, fit the classic open world kind of game. They're both really excellent open world games. It's immersive, random stuff happens that doesn't have anything to do with the story. It's just stuff in the world that's happening. There's collection stuff. That's my favorite type of game for sure. Um, I still need to do a full playthrough of Cyberpunk one of these days. I played it at release on PlayStation 4. And I didn't like give up to the point that I wanted a refund, but I was like, yeah, this is not for me. Um, and then I played it a little bit about a year ago and I really enjoyed it and I got sidetracked by something else. Oh, I started playing Final Fantasy XIV again and got sucked in. Good day, sir. Thank oh. you, Mariah. Mr. Kilgore, how are you? Well, I trust. I got you the plumes and the orchids that you asked for. You did? Oh. The Duchess of Sorrento will be most <coughs> happy with you. She's an Excuse old me. friend, the Duchess. Gone to see it a little now, but in her youth, oh, she was the most beautiful woman in all of Italy. Oh, a Neapolitan pearl, and even I would have been it. Oh, bellissima. Oh, quite astonishing. You're good. Oh, you're very good. Algernon, I whispered to myself. 
Um, I found it my first playthrough on PC on here. I actually played with just the default. I don't usually rebind stuff, just in general. I just deal with whatever the things are. Sometimes I'll add extra bindings to mouse buttons. Generally, I don't rebind keys. Unless it's just completely useless. I'm sorry, it's cash. I prefer something like I played Witcher 3 without rebinding anything. I'm fine with um, anything else you need. Me? No, I'm fine. And this is very similar there controls. One thing. More orchids. Um, but this playthrough I'm using controller. Again, I will make it worth your troubles. Okay. It's a little something I'm making for the uh, Baroness von Buchwald. You know how she is. Oh, very demanding. Dreadfully so. The best ones they always are. <laughs> All right. What do we got now? Aaron plumes, lady slipper orchids, moccasin flower orchids. Okay. More orchid hunting. I am not going to do this this set on stream tonight. I am going to move on to something else. Um, I'm going to work on some, it's, um, yeah, I think so. It's, it's, I generally prefer keyboard and mouse for almost everything, but there's, for this game, there is the auto targeting that you get with controller is really critical for hunting birds. And that's pretty much it. Otherwise I... I'm much more comfortable on keyboard and mouse. But now that I've been playing for whatever, a hundred hours on this playthrough, it feels great on controller. I've been, I used to be like very, very strictly keyboard mouse person. And lately I have been, found a number of games where I'm like, you know what? It feels better on controller. I did Elden Ring on keyboard and mouse, though. If I do another playthrough, I'm going to try it on controller. Because people are like, you're crazy <laughs> for doing it on keyboard and mouse. But I played it for 400 plus hours on keyboard and mouse, and I did, I did fine. Talk to this guy next. My horse needs a brushing. Hey, move. <laughs> I loved Elden Ring. I don't know what it was about it. I haven't played. I, I, I didn't play the other Souls games, though, so I wouldn't know. Um, I might try Sekiro. It's supposed to be pretty easy compared to most of the other Souls games. I would do Bloodborne if it was on PC, but it's not. Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it um, is. I have I Dark, Dark Souls 3 as well. The art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. <coughs> go far away. We will never understand you up. here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me Once the ads start right. running, I'm going to run to the bathroom. It matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps it doesn't matter. Help me. me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in the country These quests are silly. by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. I shot on their bar. I shot on their bar. <laughs> you know, you know, quick. Go 
good catch. Join, please. Oh, so this is um uh, kind of like a King of the Hill game where it just randomly picks one of the people that joins as the winner. What are you looking at? It's um if you can see. I don't know if ads are still running for you or not. It's just a silly, silly game. Um, that is created by a uh, cool streamer and streamer bot enthusiast like myself named VR Flad. Give him a shout out in a sec. He does really cool stuff. We just become best friends. Yep. And uh, he develops a bunch of widgets for Streamerbot that are fun like that. Hello, boys. Come on. <laughs> Come on back now, um, so he he does a bunch of those widgets, and then um, I modified it a little bit. I added like a wintry theme to the hill and stuff like that. And um. I'm developing widgets like that myself. Good luck to all of you. Slowly. And I do videos on streamer bot tutorials as well on YouTube. It's the best Twitch chat bot that there is. You can do literally anything with it. Gonna pistol whip these dudes real quick. Josh, come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. Merci, merci. Um, but yeah, it's a it's an awesome Twitch chat bot, but it uh is not particularly intuitive for new users. So I've been making videos to make it how to use it really clear. <laughs> yeah, they just came in. They were gonna fist fight me. All right, I need to go to the bathroom quite badly. Um, I need to get out of here. Shit. Well, I may not survive this swim, honestly. Get 
Get there. Get there. Nope. I'm gonna die. Get there. Get there. That was way too close. <laughs> yeah. What was that a commercial for? I remember what I know what you're talking about, but I don't I don't remember what that was for. Thank you, Mariah. How you doing there? I'm feeling fine. Oh, that's good to hear. Unbelievable. Hey! My my what it said. My horse just ran over some woman. Whoopsie doozy. That makes sense. I totally remember exactly what you're talking about, though. What the heck is your problem? Nothing. Why does everybody think I'm not wearing a mask or something? You should. It's wonderful. I wouldn't put much stock in the online version, but the uh, the story mode is incredible. This is the third time I've played through the story. It's very good. Um, I usually do refill my cores, yes. Um, because it, it makes you, like have blurry vision or whatever. It's just annoying to have them on un unfull. And eventually you have so much crap in your inventory that it's not like a resource issue. All right, I need to run to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. You ain't shit. He pokes his head out of the hill. It's over! <laughs> but maybe going a different way, it would be. Nope. I'm just gonna get my ass eaten by wolves. Oh, it's gotta be a better way to say that. Creepy ass church. What could go wrong? Oh, that's what. I even knew it was coming. Ow. Sheesh. That hits hard. It's okay, doggy. Come here. Come here. It's okay. All right. Let's see. What's next? Moccasin flower orchids. I don't really want to do the orchid stuff right now. Hunting request. Um... I think there, if I want to go like way, way up here. 
Mm, let me do this other one first. I don't want to do this mission yet. That's not till way later. I need to pay my bounty, but... Move! Um, butt spot is random. It's like, uh... This is based on New Orleans. This city. It's called Saint Denis. But yeah, it's... It's basically... You know how Rockstar games, it's always like... Supposed to be... Oops, supposed to be some city. Like Liberty City is New York, and Vice City is Miami. I should have gone and paid my bounty. That's what I get. Now I gotta get out of Dodge. And yeah, butt spot is random. He will randomly buttify one message out of like every 15 or so. Uh, let me go pay the bounty over here instead. Excuse me. There is not. They, for whatever reason, Rockstar has just abandoned this franchise, basically. They, like, what the fuck? Final Hunters? random lawman on the road for a five dollar bounty there's not a zombie dlc rockstar for whatever reason just like does not give a shit about this franchise they would rather spend more money on grand theft auto 5 constantly like the red dead online could have been so good but they just never they did not spend the time that it deserved or the money or whatever because they're just making, they're still making too much money off Grand Theft Auto. So even though this game is like incredible, it, it, they never did any DLC and they never, damn it, I just can't get away. Yo, dude. What's up? Thanks for the raid, Blue. Where are ghost sounds coming from? Jesus Christ. I think my... My farts video sometimes turns into ghosts. How, uh, how was Elden Ring? You were playing that tonight, right? Excuse me. I'm just trying to get to a post office to pay off my bounty, but I keep getting spotted by cops. Yep. And the cycle continues. Stop searching for me, I'm just trying to get to the post office and pay off my bounty. You rat bastards. Right here. Started a new character. Yeah, I uh, was just saying if I go, if I play again, I might try 
I played on keyboard and mouse the first time through. I might try a controller just to see how it feels. Probably way easier. Invitation from Mayor Lemieux. Hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. Excuse me. Farewell. <laughs> Come on, girl. Nice. Oh, did you kill the sleeping dragon? That's a good one. Ooh, there's a bounty poster. Yeah, once you know what you're doing in that, you run around and get a bunch of, uh, runes off of, um, like gravestones and stuff, you can get to, like, you can definitely get to level 48 in one sitting. That's awesome. That's awesome! Why some poster, eh? If I looked like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. New bounty. Where's that guy? Okay. Down here. Got side quest up here I want to do. I heard that laid laws being put up near Catfish Jackson's. He's a piece of work, but he's still got friends. I go to that bounty first. It's pretty close. Yeah, you can get to like level 35 on pocket runes without even fighting an enemy. Where? I don't need a marker here. What's this for? Oh, that was when I was hunting egrets. What are you doing, lady? Hey, ma'am. Hey, sweetie. Nice round here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Oh? That's not well, weird. Good luck to you. So long. Some lady just walking out of the woods. Yeah. Huh. Alright, have a good one. Thanks for the raid, Blue. Was it 1120? Yeah. Probably be going for another hour and a half. We'll see. Depends on the baby.
hit me with a throwing knife. Get ye. You won't be getting me. Okay. Alright. See you later, alligator hide. I barely knew you. Hey, you miserable bastard. I'm tied laundry tater. You're lucky I have any slips out of this rope and slay your damn throat. Some kind of I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Crank someone. About time, you dozy bastard. Bastard. Alright, Sheriff. How long is this blooming taking you? Send your horse to a knacker's yard when we're done. Cuts the old knacks to blast it. Good for glue, and no much else. And it smells of ass back here. Come on. up, buddy. You're just the worst. You're just the worst. Oh, the horse just pooped on him. Nearly torched me, but I got him. Oh dear, Mr. Laidlaw. That is going to count against him. Cell's there for him. I'll have none of that. I came peacefully. Well, I tell you did. I don't care about the present. <laughs> Yeah, sheriff. Whether you was nearly inflamed or not, I'm afraid. I'll All right, fine. If you... I, didn't need to know I do not need the money, sir. Alright, let's go up here. Let's see, maybe I can. Let's see, what's closest to Ansburg or the Indian Reservation? Ansburg, for sure. Alright, run out of town. <laughs> Camp and we'll fast travel to Ansburg and then go from there. The saddest moment in my childhood was realizing I had to do an additional download after inserting the disc to play the game on my PS3. <laughs> uh, yeah, that always bugs me, especially when it's new. Put a game in and then it's like... Three patches later. Excuse me. To be fair, if that's the saddest moment, moment of your childhood, you're doing good.
Snack. And she needs to be brushed. Hey there, mister. by a fucking cougar. Here, horsey. <clears throat> Easy there, girl. It's okay. Cougar didn't get us. up in this area for a while so I'm game is likely to serve me some new events are going to be running in about two minutes. When they do run, I'm going to run and grab a drink. Just so, uh, you know, you're not missing anything. My, actually, my next YouTube video is going to be about the system I have set up to help manage ads. get started filming that this week. Oh god, did a cougar just spawn like right on top of me? That's not fair, man. It spawned like right there. Punch! Get a weapon out, Arthur. He's dead. Core was empty. <clears throat> and that's why you refill your cores. Increment deaths. my own. 
Where is that big game with time? There we go. I need to find some more time. Not metaphorically. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run and grab another beer real quick. Join, please. All right, I'm back. So we're looking for side quests. There's one up here. Um, I started this one earlier in Saint Denis. There was like this inventor guy. And I had to like drive some boats. Um, I got some Samuel Smith brews for Christmas. I got like a four pack and they're different ones. This one is uh Samuel Smith Pure Brewed Organic Lager. I haven't had this one. It's a lager though, so it tastes like beer. It's good. Nothing, uh... Yeah. I'm too lazy to get a glass out. And drink it properly. Yeah, I had um the first one I had this this evening was an IPA. I love IPAs, but I, I used to drink them all the time exclusively basically, especially when I lived in California. But these days I prefer I'll have one or two IPAs, but then I prefer like a lager or a pilsner. Just something light. Go around back, Arthur. Check out this place. So this is like the inventor's workshop, I think. 
big fucking coil. What could go wrong? <clears throat> really dark beers, I, um... In this game, um, my first playthrough, I died a lot more than I have in this one. Because I, like, know what to look out for, and I know, like... <clears throat> I know to, like, restore my cores, and... Use medicine when I need to, and... I have, I've only died like 15 times in this playthrough so far. First time I played through, by the time I got to this point in the game, I had probably died a hundred times. <clears throat> um, nice thing is if you die during a mission, you can just restart at a checkpoint in the mission. No problem. Over and over and over. You, are disturbing me, you don't have to start the whole yes. mission over. Problem, you just start at the, the most recent, yeah. like, no, turning point of I, the mission. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well, it, uh, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Just these things, and I will show you what I need. Here, take these. I gotta uh, climb up that tower now. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a sick a burn. You're American. Science is far beyond you. You have a detector in your hand. Yeah. Where'd it go? That was, um, one of the hardest parts of Witcher. Oh my god, when Witcher 3 was new, um, all of the, all of the, like, herbs and monster parts and everything all had weight. So you would, like, hit... And even with even without all of that, it's still like an inventory management game. But in the in the very first version, before they patched it, all of the herbs and like books and whatever, like everything had weight. And it was like you spent so much time just running back to town and then finding a merchant, not only finding the right merchant right the right merchant but also finding a merchant that still had money like because most of them it's like well i already sold a bunch of shit to this merchant and he's out of money so you start having to buy like start buying like glyphs and using glyphs as currency <laughs> and stuff like that or like i'm gonna buy a sort like crafting components just to be able to sell some of this shit like what can i buy that's light It was, it was madness that my first playthrough of The Witcher was at release, and it was like, so much, so much inventory management.
it's not so much that the shopkeepers are <clears throat> it's not so much that the shopkeepers in the smaller towns are give you a better pr worse price it's like you, there, for each thing that you can sell I think I just heard wolves shit um each type of thing that you can sell there's a particular type of shopkeeper that will pay the most for it. So, like, if you're selling cheese and, like, berries and stuff, like food, you sell to, like, an innkeeper type merchant. Or if you're selling a sword, you sell to a blacksmith. Or if you're selling armor, you sell to an armorsmith, etc. To get the right price. I definitely hear wolves. Okay, I'm coming back there, buddy. You get a weapon. Oh, I don't have any weapons. <laughs> the wolves gonna come at me and they're gonna get some of my machete. Thank you, Mercy. <laughs> yeah, and then eventually, just like all open world games, eventually you get to the point where you're like, you have no use for money anymore. All the best armor is like... Oh yeah, this game is beautiful, and I, I have it like, I'm only playing on like, medium or high textures just for the sake of the stream. It's not like I can stream it at 4K or anything. Can you zoom in and out? You can, there's photo mode. You pause. You can go to photo mode. Then you can do whatever you want. Or are you talking about like, um, yeah, you can go first person, just for for gameplay. You can go first person. It's it's a, if you play Grand Theft Auto, five, it's very very similar. There's, you, so there's first person. There's first person and then third and then like there's like three views for third it's like one that's like right over your shoulder one that's a little further back and one that's the furthest back and that's usually the one I try to play on <laughs> I played so much in Grand Theft Auto 5 I played online I when it when the online version came first came out I had a, a crew that I played with like every night, on. it was a lot of fun. Now, I <clears throat> GTA Online is star. horrible the if you're on your own, though. Just Griefer City. To this earth. Like this. I like GTA 5 the best. Um, San Andreas was excellent, though. Am I missing something? Oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb. Up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Nothing like climbing a giant metal tower in a thunderstorm. What could go wrong? Damn it. What I got myself 
Um, Rockstar tends to be, especially with the GTA games, they tend to be very political. Um, and the GTA games are very... It's definitely a... <laughs> yeah, well it came out in what? 2013? So GTA 5 is almost 10 years old. So yeah, you would have been a little young for that game. I am much older and I, so I played, I played GTA, the original GTA. That was like an isometric top down car game. What do you think? I wish I could find a operable version of GTA 1. There we go. Yeah. I, um, I was just having this conversation with someone else recently. 80 games is, $80 is a lot for a game, especially, I mean, at that, at that price, at that age, for sure, it's madness. Um, but, uh, I remember, yeah, I remember in my, in my grade school and high school years paying $60 for an NES game. And adjusted for inflation, that would be like $175 now. Are you ready? So Go like on. we're we're getting off pretty light I'm these days. Here. Video game Second prices. Time. More like seven thousand. This is my life's work. Especially it considered considering the uh, size of the teams that are involved now compared to then. What? But yeah, like NES games, like AAA titles for NES games were like. 50, 60 bucks. Same thing with Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. I remember Super Nintendo was one of the first big things that I saved up for. I think the system was... The systems were cheaper because they just didn't require as much stuff. And there wasn't a semiconductor shortage. Um, Super Nintendo, I remember saving up, it was about 120 bucks. But the games were 50 or 60 dollars. Poor robot. For now. I am so <laughs> oh, You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. This guy's nuts. I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what is next? Excuse me. Okay, I need to go to this one, I think. American Fathers. Yep. Alright, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Thanks for chatting and stuff. Hope you're having a good day, or night, or whatever it is. Merry Christmas. Let's see. I will just fast travel.
Ah, <laughs> uh, when those random signs line si when those random sounds line up, it's just wonderful. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, mister. No, I only stream um, Sunday and Monday nights. Um, Excuse me. And then Every once in a while, I'll do a random Mr. stream some other time, but on I'm my schedule is just Sunday and Monday nights. Oh, wow. Evelyn Miller. And um, so, I also Mr. make YouTube videos, Morgan, at least which I'm trying to uh, lean a little bit more of my wrong? effort towards that, the but it's hard. I'm, I have a full-time job and I have kids, so to be clear, he wasn't I don't have a lot of time for it. anything he else. Rather liked you. Okay. Do you... Uh, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall. A great Kids are two and, son, and five. Gentlemen, two boys. We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We well, have great powers of observation. It's my people before you are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. Yeah, it's... Five-year-old is getting punished, to the point where we can... Punished and moved. ...do whatever sure he wants for a while. I'm told we are to be moved. But two-year-old still requires our attention like 100% of the time that he's awake. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. I remember this quest line sucks. And we have become far weaker. We get involved between the Indian or the native tribes and the army. I know it's it terrible. Is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus The story mode in this game is both wonderful and terrible. Huge for sure. Of oil under their land. <clears throat> so you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can. Even more obviously, I would be useless. Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. We must try everything. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Alrighty. Yep. Let's see. I can fast travel to Valentine, I think. Just gotta get out of town first.
There we go. Valentine. Probably should have slept first. Oh well. I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Uh, Listen, I just make this. sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Back. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. <laughs> as long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Check kill him or what? We're waiting for you, mister. Fire. <laughs> To fear at all. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Ellen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My boss. Excellent. Sorry, please. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am <coughs> going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What a ridiculous quest. Let's see. Is that one on my list? Help a brother out. That one's called O oh Brother. Alright.
rigged. Excuse me. All right, there we go. <laughs> um there's a mission with the um sorry mostly i am just working on side quest stuff but there's a mission with i just want to get a drink i'm parched uh this like native american tribe hey brother there's this big long quest chain with them uh, yeah, why not? I've got like six thousand dollars, which is like a million dollars in this game. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. This guy's real weird. Go buy a beer or something, buddy. I think that's one of my favorite things about this game is the like random horse collision nonsense that you get into <laughs> sometimes and it's just like whoops I fell off a cliff or I ran into a tree that's one um one tip for this game is if you're if you're running on your horse if you just completely let go of the directional stick and keep pressing the run button the horse will do its own steering you're going through trees or whatever but if you force the horse into a tree that's your own fault but if you just like let go of the directional stick or whatever i think witcher 3 has that similar kind of thing too where um the horse will kind of drive itself Stay on, if you're on a road, it'll stay on the road. Stuff like that. But you can still like steer it into trouble. And in this in this game, there's there's so much like, oops, I accidentally steered into a tree, and now we've now I need a horse medicine. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office? Yeah, like you can craft you. medicine and stuff. It's, it's very off. similar to The Witcher, honestly. The are as in terms of, believe, it's just Mr. standard Cornwall's open, open, open world game coming. stuff. There's so crafting. There's gathering. There's what will the files say? quests. From Oil random, company. random world yeah. events. Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in the wagon. They keep rolling in. But this one, I'm stealing. Problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was bonds from the oil company or something. I don't know. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. I wonder if I got any weapons off my horse. Probably not. We're doing this whole mission with pistols.
so Leviticus Cornwall, who owns this factory, already hates me. So this should go really well. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Pick it up. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Sheesh. Nice, so that gets me past a couple guards automatically. I do at least have a rifle. I don't have a shotgun or a repeater or anything though, so that kind of sucks. Probably shouldn't have done that. Shit. Get back up there. Hmm. Jump. There you go. I get seen? What happened? <clears throat> Danford destroyed the documents. Hey, how's it going, Cascading Madness? I'm doing well. Christmas was good. A little light family action and you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise just hanging out. I'm gonna wait for this whole thing again. Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick while I wait for this cutscene to go. Why now? 45 seconds. Yeah, it was good. Hey, Tom. Pick it no up. complaints. Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Santa Good food. Day. Okay. Better get a move on. Kids then. didn't wig out too much. Excuse me. Yeah, it, it can be really overwhelming kind of day for the kids, so they did pretty good.
All right, I'm gonna go up here, and then. Fuck. Give me a checkpoint after the cart lands. If you are quick, Fuck. you could climb into the back of that Holy smokes. Excuse me. The last thirty seconds of this video is just a solid fart. Let's see. I wish I could skip this, um, wagon ride. It's ridiculous. Poke catch. Ooh, jinx. I'm not sure what I'm missing. It seems like, uh... As soon as I touch the ground on that other side, it fails, so I need to go up the roof and go from there. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. <clears throat> get a move on indeed. Maybe I'm not supposed to go on the roof. I don't... I don't even know. Is there like a s skylight or something I can go down? people with my pistol without actually shooting them is like the fastest way. <laughs>
cranberry. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice war as this. Yo. Oh. No, thank you. Bye bye. File. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, Danbury. Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. I'm taking your hat, buddy. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. the window. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. All right, baby's Very awake. Hold on a second. You. Hey, buddy. All right.
I'm back for the time being. Little buddy is coughing. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Yep. Let's see. Did I hit sixty percent? Not quite. Take a look. My next thing is collecting more orchids. Moccasin flower orchids. Okay. Start working on that, but I think I will start doing that off stream. Let's see. What's next that isn't collect collections? Might be able to do one more thing. Predator. Let's see. Exotics. Lady Slipper Orchids. Uh, let's go back to camp and see if that anything is uh, happening there. And then I think we're pretty good for the night. I am pretty yeah. tired and little guy just woke up. There's a hunting mission that pops up with Pearson sometimes. I'm going to see if I can get that. make the rest of my time big game. I think I got six more time. I should probably stay in this area and collect a bunch of time, but whatever. Is that it? One more. Okay. Big game, plain game. Let's 
Sadie. Okay, so that's like one of the next missions. It's going to be this Sadie mission. Um, legendary animals. Yeah, it's all like orchids and stuff. It's my next stuff. I guess I can start on that. Baby slipper. This collection stuff is starting to take over this chapter. <clears throat> Moccasin flower orchids. It's the next next main target. I think I'm pretty good for tonight though, so let's um let's start looking for a raid target. Since baby's probably gonna be up again any second. Poke catch. I don't have let's see. Who is on? I've got a Red Dead RP player. All up New Vegas. So is Deputy Doggo. Toodles. She's ridiculous. You can see your doggo. Maybe I will raid her. I think she's Australian. She's a lot of fun. I haven't been able to raid her ever, so I shall try that. I'm gonna wait till ads are over. And then we'll uh we'll head over there. start a new save soon got almost to 60% tonight that's great desktop mode please all right we're gonna raid twoodles here we go thank you everybody for coming by tonight I appreciate you all. Had some couple nice raids. Some resubs and some biddies. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for coming by. And uh thanks for joining in on the raid. I will see you on the other side. Have a good night. Merry Christmas. Should be I should be um streaming tomorrow night. Um keeping my normal schedule as much as I can. We'll see what happens next weekend, but this weekend I'm able to do it, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Have a good one. <laughs>